Welcome. As you already might know that there is a new streaming stick or streaming device from Google, Google Chromecast with Google TV. Uh, today I'm going to compare it with the uh, Amazon Fire Stick 4K version. So that way uh, you'll know the differences between both and if the Google Chromecast with Google TV actually compares to 4K and if it is actually worth the, worth the $50 price tag. Uh, and Amazon Fire TV 4K is also $50. Both of them are retail prices and I think you can find Fire Stick uh, 4K as cheap as 30 bucks currently. But again, yeah, I'm just comparing it the retail price. Uh, there might be deals on Google Chromecast too. The new Google Chromecast comes with a remote. If you're familiar with the older generation Chromecast, it was just a uh, basically a stick that you attach to your TV and you can cast uh, images uh, or any of the apps to the TV. But with this new one, it comes with a remote and it has a full Google TV integration. So you can directly have the apps uh, very similar to Fire Stick or any other streaming sticks out there. Uh, you can just have the apps right on there and you can control them with your remote. Um, so just going through some basic features for uh, Google Chromecast here. Don't forget to click on the link above to look at my full Google Chromecast uh, review. So here you have uh, the Google TV interface. Uh, I'm just trying out uh, to show the search features here. Uh, basically, you can just ask anything like you ask on your uh, on your phone uh, for, for Google. Uh, it will pretty much search everything, and a lot of times it will give a personalized recommendations too. Uh, at this time, I'm just showing, uh, just searching for a movie, and I can show it will search for weather, it will search for uh, uh, locations like Starbucks, Target, whatever you guys want to. Uh, you can get a quick information. Uh, it doesn't give driving directions, but it will still tell you where exactly things are. So here's a new feature uh, for the Google Chrome. Chromecast Google TV, that's a long name, but uh, uh, is for you, for you section. Basically, the algorithm that works, uh, Google, it will kind of uh, looks at what you're watching and, uh, uh, and kind of recommend uh, based on your viewing habits. Uh, this is a good feature. It's a kind of similar to Netflix, uh, but this works even better. Uh, and I, I think this is one of the best features for uh, uh, for the Chromecast here, so it kind of gives you all all, all the things, uh, pretty much anything related to movies, TVs, TV shows, sports, uh, and you have a live section, uh, which is if you have a YouTube TV subscription, uh, I have I have one here, which so you can see it will give you the guide, it will basically show all the live stuff, uh, and obviously the movies. Uh, TV shows, um, th those are very typical. Uh, you can rent or it's part of any of the other subscription services you may have, HBO, Stars, or, uh, um, or anything else, or even Netflix, you can basically integrate into it. And it will show you those and it will take you there directly once you click on any particular movie. Next, we have the apps. Uh, basically, any Google Play Store app, or I would, I would say most of the Google Play Store apps will work. You can just search for them directly here and install. Uh, Chromecast does come with an AGB uh, storage, uh, but uh, uh, there is also an option to sideload apps that uh, you cannot directly download from the Chromecast. Uh, 
If you'd like to see how you can do that, please click on the above, link above and I have a full video explaining how to sideload uh, uh, most of the apps. Here's the library, basically any movies that you own or if you have uh, YouTube, live TV, uh, you can you can have all the DVR shows, uh, shows up here. Uh, these are all the movies that are in my list uh, that kind of shows up. Now let's go to the settings. Here are the couple of uh, important things. Uh, one is this is a HDR capable, 4K HDR capable. So where if you, there is an option under match content where you can just match the dynamic range. Uh, so you want to keep that on. So that way the HDR not, is not always on because that will help the screen quality better. Like even when you're just on the basic interface without watching anything it's still the hdr is on it just gives uh g gives a little different kind of uh, vibe with it our colors and everything else uh the screen does look different when the hdr is on while you're browsing but i would recommend uh, to just do it while you're watching so adaptive is the best way to get there and here you can see under accounts, um, you don't have an option to add profiles. Uh, that's something I see it's lacking. Um, maybe there will be a future update. You can have profiles under your account. That way you can uh, um, you can add multiple profiles. So you, you're not, you, you can definitely use multiple accounts, but not multiple profiles. I think that's one, uh, one drawback that I think uh, that's on the Chromecast. Uh, now let's go to Fire TV. So I'm going to do the same thing, just go through the basic stuff. I mean, most of the things about Fire TV is there, Amazon interface. If you're in the Amazon ecosystem, uh, you already know what how this all works. Uh, it's very basic. They both are very similar other than the graphics. The interface graphics are a little different. Here, if you have Amazon Prime, you get all the Amazon um, shows tv shows uh movies uh programs wh whatever they have uh obviously and you have the live option here too but this is uh again the same thing as the chromecast where you have to you have to have a login or you have to have an account with uh, any one of these apps to actually see the things live your videos uh basically whatever you bought uh watch list whatever you watched already uh, and now obviously you can see it, it recommends stuff, uh, but it's pretty much all prime things that it will recommend, but not not as good as what uh, Google is doing on the Chromecast. Next, we have some free stuff. Uh, it's very basic. It's uh, You can get this on any of the streaming services, not just on uh, Fire Stick. Uh, movies, again, similar. Uh, n not much of a difference. You can either purchase it directly from Amazon or uh, you can watch it from any of the available ones from Prime. Whichever way it is, it's just movies that you can rent, purchase. Uh, similar to TV shows. Amazon basically has the same thing with apps. Uh, the only biggest drawback is you have to download through Amazon and not every app is available. So again, same like on Chromecast, you have to sideload and there is a developer options that you have to turn on to make this happen. It is a little tedious than it would be on a, a Chromecast. Uh, just like there is no direct uh, YouTube app installed uh, on the Fire Stick. You have to actually go and download it, but at least you can download it just, just by, um, by searching for it. Uh, I'm going to just do a little um, Alexa uh, search capabilities. Uh, you can have smart home integration too, uh, similar to... Google system, I I don't have anything set up with uh, Google Nest Nest devices, so I only have set up with my Amazon devices. So you can see that you can basically use the remote. 
to control your uh, lights, smart home devices, whatever you have. Again, the search capabilities are very similar. Uh, it, it does the same thing, uh, just Amazon version versus uh, Google version. Uh, similar to Chromecast again, here we have the games. You can download multiple games, connect a controller, and play them on your TV. Um, these are not any uh, big, big uh, um, like console type games, but just uh, pretty much similar to what you have on the apps. Uh, let's go through the settings again to show a couple of things. Uh, obviously, uh, you can see the settings are uh, pretty much, again, the same things. Uh, they are both are based on uh, Android, so it's just an Amazon version of Android. Uh, in either way, um, if you go into the display and sounds, uh, you will see under display, uh, it is the same thing. Dynamic range settings, you can actually set the uh, always HDR or adaptive. Uh, again, like uh, similar to Chromecast, you, my preference is uh, adaptive. So that way uh, you will get the real real um, colors and everything while you're just browsing and uh, I would say real uh, screen uh, aesthetic wise. I mean, uh, I'm kind of lost of word there, but uh, uh, you, you'll have a better uh, experience with the HDR adaptive. Um, again, uh, you can do a lot of these things uh, with Amazon uh, uh, Fire Stick remote. You can actually control your TV. Uh, same again, same same as both. All the features are very similar on both of them. Uh, next, you can add here uh, game controllers, Bluetooth devices. Obviously, you have the integration of uh, uh, of this. And under preferences. Uh, let me see, where is this go? Under My Fire TV, you have the developer options. Basically, I turn them on, even though uh, right now I don't have anything side-loaded on the Fire Stick, but I turn them on, so that's one big way to uh, side-load stuff. So this is the profiles. Uh, this one has a child profile, which kind of restricts the content. I uh, haven't seen that on the Chromecast. Hopefully, they will have that pretty soon, and you can actually add... Uh, um, th that's very useful when kids are watching, you know, there is some sort of a control on what they, when they search for something, what pops up there. Uh, so that's uh, pretty much um, Fire Stick TV. Uh, nothing there that uh, other people haven't reviewed or you might have experienced already. Uh, this video is pretty much comparing Chromecast uh, and the Fire TV Stick. Uh, so in my opinion, um, Chromecast, uh, the new one is uh, with uh, with Android TV has improved a lot. Uh, so w w one of the biggest um, features of it is the casting part of it. Uh, you cannot do that on the Fire Stick um, directly. Uh, so that's that's the best feature of Chromecast. So you can basically from your phone, Android, iOS, either way, you can just cast anything picture, video, Netflix, whatever apps that support, uh, you can do that uh, just with that feature. And rest of the streaming features are very similar on both of them, even until to the settings. Uh, another thing I would say, um, I would it would be a plus on the Chromecast is the App Store. It's directly Google App Store, Play Store. You can download anything and everything that uh, that's available out there, and you can sideload. And I know you can do that on Fire Stick too, but you do need to do more than uh, just. Yeah, th th there is multiple ways of doing that on the Fire Stick. Uh, not as easy as on the Chromecast currently. Uh, so that's that's uh, that's a big thing. Uh, the one drawback on the Chromecast is the profiles, uh, especially you cannot create multiple profiles. Uh, I wish they had that feature. You cannot create a child profile. Um, at least I couldn't. Uh, I wasn't able to f do it in other way. So, but that would be a good feature to have. Uh, that would be my, uh, my. That would be the biggest drawback. I would say. Uh, it's pretty much on the Chromecast side. So if you go to Fire Stick, obviously, like I said earlier, if you're in the Amazon ecosystem, you cannot beat a Fire Stick. Uh, you can pretty much do everything uh, from uh, ordering or adding things to your cart. You can even do that from Fire Stick. Uh, so th those do work well. 
and uh, it's been out for four or five years and uh, it's been working the way and they even released a new couple of new versions uh, one of them is a light and also um, the fire stick uh, tv it's just a 1080p but with hdr and it's a cheaper version i believe that's about 30 bucks uh, the 1081 but again uh, you can find the 4k sticks for 30 bucks now especially uh, the Black Friday sales and holiday sales coming up soon. So that's my quick comparison. Uh, I think uh, both of them get two thumbs up uh, for what they do. Uh, definitely recommend Chromecast just because of the casting features and the app availability. And you can you can pretty much download anything that's on the Play Store. Um, and that doesn't mean Fastic is any less. Uh, so they are very close uh, neck to neck. Um, in what they can do and what they cannot do. Uh, at this point, I haven't found many things that they cannot do uh, as, com as for streaming services, uh, but um, that's my full review. Please subscribe and hit the like button. See you in the next one.